Hello, thank you for watching. It's Monday the 28th of October 2019. It's actually New Moon Day. New Moon came in in the UK at 3.38am in the States and Canada. That was uh, yesterday night, of course. And in New Zealand, it's quite a bit further forward. It hasn't, uh, hasn't actually come in yet, but it is very close. Uh, and it's actually here in UK now. 3.38am, um, lovely time to be awake, isn't it? I woke up a good half an hour before that, so uh, I could celebrate it. Anyway, it's freezing cold in UK today. Gosh, I really feel the winter coming in. And uh, of course, the season's changing. It's all part of the same universe that the astrology comes from. So um, it's kind of all relevant, really. And wherever you are in the world, and I hope you're somewhere a bit warmer than this today, I'll say that. Wherever you are in the world, um, you will notice those cycles changing. And um, astrology is as natural as anything like that. It really is. So uh, we've got the moon in. What have we got? Yep, we've got Scorpio moon at the moment. A bit emotionally difficult. Um, I don't know about you, but I've been having some very strange dreams uh, just in the last couple of days. And um, they're the kind of dreams where it's, you know, you kind of got to decide whether you want to do one thing or the other. And then you wake up and realise the whole thing was uh, more than a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, it's that kind of situation, you know, and it is rather ridiculous to try and put things into one pigeonhole or another. Um, so let's try and, you know, keep a sense of balance about things today if we can. Um, there's a bit more jealousy, there's a bit more envy, there's a bit more greed. But uh, at least, you know, it is actually new moon at the moment and the moon energy isn't terribly strong in itself. Although in many ways it's noticeable by its absence. Now people do like to kind of launch new things around the time of new moon. And uh, that's a great thing really, you know, new moon energy is very positive for launching things. But friends, the, the advice that we always seem to get from uh, people who've been astrologers a lot longer than me um, is don't launch the thing until maybe two or three days after the new moon um, when it's actually had time to come together. Uh, if you've launched today already on the basis that it's new moon, then with a bit of luck, you know, things will go a little bit slow for the first couple of days. Don't worry about it. It's all building up the energy for things to take off. Uh, OK, so what else have we got today? Um, well, I'll tell you, the moon phase at the moment, she is 0.2% full, so she is just a little bit off zero. But I'd wait till she's 2 or 3%. It won't be very long. And, uh, you know, I'll sort of give that out in the astro weather as we go. Alignments today, the sun is sextile Saturn. Uh, stable transitions, beneficial delays. There you go, see? You know, that's exactly what I was saying. If you're trying to launch something today, maybe, you know, a delay that comes around you is going to be beneficial. Doesn't mean it's hopeless. Doesn't mean that your plans are going to come to nothing. Quite the opposite, actually. Very supportive. But we need patience and we need to get things organised. A bit like when there's a void of course period. and We don't want to be rushing to get things done. Just a bit of patience and uh, perhaps a little bit of restraint as well. The moon is also sextile Saturn, so that is quite strongly indicated. People thoughtful, serious. Um, it's a good time to kind of try and keep things practical and to realise that a big part of keeping things practical is making sure that kind of things sit well with the other people involved in what's going on. Uh, Mercury void in Scorpio, well, tell me about it. That is, uh, that is a fact of life at the moment. And um, it is going to change a fair bit when Mercury actually enters Scorpio, which is coming up. And it kind of depends where you are in the world, in the world as to uh, which day exactly. But let me just, I'm trying really hard to find it on this page. It's just scrolling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Thursday, October the 31st, basically. The time's different, depending on where you are in the world. But the moon will be in, um, but Mercury, I'm sorry, will actually be in Scorpio at that time. So we're coming up to that. We are into the intensified uh, pre-shadow phase before Mercury retrograde, when things can start teaching us little lessons that aren't terribly easy to understand. Fact of life again. There's facts of life everywhere. Oh, they're not. I'm going to have a look at spaceweather.com. I, I just sometimes I get drawn to include this and sometimes I don't. So I'll just refresh the page because I haven't looked at it since the last time I mentioned it. Right, there's a new hole in the sun's atmosphere. Um, lots of solar wind coming out of that hole towards Earth. What happens? There's a magnet, a sort of electromagnetosphere thing around the sun and it gets a hole in it. It flings off strands of uh, radioactive magnetic whatever it is, particles, I suppose you could say, protons, in fact. Um, 
and uh, we're looking at October 30th, 31st as a time when um, all that energy is going to arrive and it sort of buffets the planet really. It's certainly not the end of the world but we're probably going to be looking at a G1 class geomagnetic storm at the very least. We don't really know until it arrives here. Okay, well, that is the astrology. I really want to do a quote today and uh, my book has fallen open here. It's the Bhagavad Gita again with the Bhaktivedanta purports. And it tells us all what it means. And um, this is his translation of uh, one of the Hindu texts. Um, it's basically, your form is difficult to see because of its glaring effulgence. He's talking about angels, basically. Uh, your form is difficult to see because of its glaring effulgence, spreading on all sides like blazing fire or the immeasurable radiance of the sun. Yet I see this glowing form everywhere, adorned with various crowns, clubs and discs. And uh, this is the thing. Now, if, if you've ever kind of sat in a circle or done a, a meditation about angels, it's, I'm going to say, I mean, I've actually kind of seen angels in that situation, but I'm not trying to say aren't I the kind of smarty pants who sees everything. Um, it was a wonderful gift to be able to see it, but that gift is there for everyone. And uh, what struck me with some force, actually, was that uh, when, I, when I met the, this angel in particular, I couldn't look at her. All I knew was she was female, and I could look at her feet, but the rest of her was far too bright to see. And... Um, Anyway, I, I took away from that, that actually that light is shining for everyone all the time. It's just so difficult to look at it. But uh, there are real, genuine physical parallels that prove that it's a real thing. See my bunch of flowers here? You virtually can't see it because the sunlight is so strong coming in. And it's, you know, it's a winter time of year. It's not really very sunny out there. But it's, it's just difficult to see the flowers. So bring them forward and you can have a look. There we go. See, and it's just, you know, it's difficult to see them. When I put them there, right in the window. But they're definitely there. And that sunlight that obscures things, it's all part of what makes us tick. So if things are looking obscure and difficult to understand, which quite honestly, uh, just as we come into Mercury retrograde, is likely to be the case for a lot of people, uh, just remember that it's all about the pure light. And the pure light is much brighter than anything we can really take in. It really is. Um, but it's there, it's around us, and it is there for absolutely all mankind. On that note, my friends, I am going to uh, take off. In a second, just going to say to Mimi, thank you for your comment yesterday. I think there's some definite magical uh, energy around musical instruments, and that's why I really like having them in shot. They are actually my instruments, I do play them all. Uh, this is where the piano was yesterday. She's gone now, but I'm going to hang my guitars here. Now, I think that's the thing to do. And um, there you go, you know, when, when things get negative, music is a wonderful thing. And you know, some music kind of makes us feel less happy. Some music makes us feel more happy. But it's all part of the light that can't really be understood. Even musicians who compose the, the most wonderful music don't really understand where it comes from. Uh, they just learn how to mould it into something that we can actually all look at. So let's take that light, not just today, but right through this week, friends, and mould it into something we can really do something with to help not just ourselves, but in fact, not, not just the people around us, but you know, every time we bring a thing like that, manifest something bright like that into the world, it goes somewhere, it does something. Have a fabulous week, my friends. I will actually be back here tomorrow, so equally have a fabulous day, my friends, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye and peace.